Okay, Pops, another week has come and gone and interesting insights into what's going on in the new and used car market. Let's start with the new cars, then we'll jump into the used car market update from our friends at Black Book Dad. New cars, the problems persist for Asian automakers. Honda, the, le- the recent headline there to cut output by up to 30% in their Japan manufacturing facilities. This is not a good look for automakers that are you know, unable to produce cars to begin with. Honda, another casualty here. Uh, absolutely. And, and you know, one of the things to take from this is this is at their Japan plants. But when you look at what their sales have been in the United States and primarily uh, the vehicles that they sell in the United States are produced in North America, most more specifically in Marysvale, Ohio, um, you can see that their inventory levels are way lower than what they had been, um, even for their domestically built cars here in the States. And their overall sales volume is way down because their production volume is way down. Whether that production value of values were lost in, in uh, Japan or in the United States, um, that doesn't bode well for Honda and their Acura division to uh, significantly lose market share, um, customer loyalty. I mean, if you're a Honda customer, and you have been, and you can't get your hands on a Honda, uh, my suspicion is that you're probably going to look at other Asian brands that might be more readily uh, available to you. And let's hit on that really quickly. We love this data over at foureyes.io. That Honda inventory is kind of pre-pandemic, April 2020, to right now, down 84.4%. Subaru inventory is down 82.8%. Acura inventory is 79.4%. Toyota inventory is down 62.8%. A bright spot here. Mazda inventories are only down 47.6%. You are starting to see that there are winners and there are losers. And as we've heard from our community, members of our community that are out at different auto Automakers, uh, you know, uh, meetings and things like that. There are chips. There are other raw materials now that are becoming the challenge for automakers to procure, and that's leading to situations like this for Honda, where they are they are down eighty four point four percent in terms of inventory here in the United States. That is wild. Yeah. So you wouldn't be surprised to see their market share in the United States drop a little bit, while say maybe Mazda's goes up a little bit or Toyota goes up slightly. Um, obviously Subaru is another one that's struggling and their market share has declined. Um, it doesn't bode well for someone as large as Honda to have these type of issues, the severity of these type of issues, both domestically here in the States and, and at home in Japan for them. It's, uh, it's really kind of staggering that they're struggling as much as they are. Now, Dad, I've pulled it up on the screen. Stellantis brands have more inventory. So again, there's the haves and the have-nots. Jeep inventories are only down 58.3%. Ram inventories only down 54.2%. And look at that, Dad. You want to get yourself an Alfa Romeo. They've got the same exact inventory, down 3% as they did pre-pandemic. So when you start to look at different brands on the new car side, this is where you see the opportunities to maybe negotiate more, get a better price. You are not going to find a Honda that doesn't have additional dealer markup. Doesn't mean you don't negotiate and try and get that off, but you are not going to find it in this market versus go find a Ram deal. You can get that a few dollars over invoice versus that Honda that has, you know, quite a few dollars over MSRP. Uh, And I'm thinking if you ever wanted to uh, make a deal on a car, uh, those Alfa Romeo dealers, the few that there are, would be glad to get rid of whatever inventory seems to be building up on their lots. Now, Dad, back on the used car side, the latest data from Black Book. Sure, we look at these reports weekly, and you might be able to say, well, week over week, it doesn't really matter. Okay, when you look at it every single week and you see the trends, things start to matter. We have an even larger decrease this week, Dad, in the wholesale used car market. Used car values dropping nearly half of a point week over week after last week's nearly half of a point decline. Full-blown trend at this point, correct, Pops? Oh, I would think so. I mean, you're talking about in the last... 14 days, wholesale values have dropped nearly one full point. I think it'd be uh, 92 hundredths of a point if you if you add everything up. And that's that even though we think of it as a small number, that's a big number. And it's reflected in some of the dollar amounts that we see when you look at what the declines mean. For instance, luxury cars, which tend 
to be a little bigger and aren't quite as uh, economical to run. Um, you can see that, that they went down nearly a point last week, which translates into the wholesale values that, that dealers were paying were $244 per car less than the week before. And if the week before the drop was similar, that means it's almost $500 lost in value over a two-week period of time, which hopefully at some point in time should be reflected in retail prices. Um, you know, and, and even if you look at the uh, premium sporty cars, I mean, they went down a half a point, but that's $302 per vehicle uh, in, in a value drop, in a dollar amount drop. And dad, if the dealership had, let's say, bought the car from a consumer or gone to auction and bought, let's let's say, a luxury car, BMW 7 Series, they're floor planning, they're paying interest on the amount that they bought it for. And so ultimately, when wholesale prices start going down, it puts a little bit more pressure to go and try and actually retail that car to a consumer because the loan that they're paying off against that vehicle is for the amount that they bought it for, not what the market value is. And so you're paying more interest, especially as interest rates continue to go up and you have more incentive because you can't just turn around to the auction and go flip it like you could three, four months ago. We're finally starting to see these wholesale declines again, aka cars depreciating, which puts back into play all of the rules for how to negotiate used car deals. Longer a vehicle's been on a dealer's lot, the better an opportunity you have to negotiate. I mean, this is why we built the Join YAA website, so you can see all that information right there. So it's a good example, Dad, to your point. This has practical implications for the for the dealers that are holding this inventory. Well, the dealer knows that that, that same vehicle that he bought four weeks ago, he probably paid $1,000 more than what he could replace it for today. Um so there is pressure on him to retail that vehicle, him or her to retail that vehicle, because they don't want to end up having to take it to the auction where they are guaranteed a significant loss. So, yes, I, I think because of these uh, steady week over week declines, uh, there will be pressure put on existing inventory that's been sitting for two, three, four weeks uh, for the dealers to look at and go, hey, we either find a retail buyer relatively quickly, or if if I'm going to have to take it to the auction, I'm going to lose my shorts on that vehicle. Uh, I think it makes more sense to discount the vehicle, sell it to a retail customer. Hopefully you make the money back in the finance and insurance office. And our expectation is that as repossessions increase, we'll continue to see a downward trend in wholesale pricing and retail pricing. However, if you are going to buy a car here, a used car anytime soon, get a pre-purchase inspection. And if you end up buying the car before the end of this month, before the end of July, we're still finishing up at the end of this month at our extended warranty promo. If you're going to buy an extended warranty, buy it from us, $150 off. That's how we keep the lights on around here. Or join our uh, join our community. Get help negotiating these deals because you can actually negotiate again. It's actually like we can help, which is fantastic to see dad subcompact luxury crossovers down nearly a point full-size luxury crossovers down one and a third points that's a 645 dollar <laughs> decline in value week over week and even full-size vans dad they declined for the first time in a long time we are seeing downward pressure which is if you've been on the sidelines it is a good thing absolutely we we should we should see some of these Wholesale value reductions um, reflected in retail asking prices probably in four to six weeks would be my guess, since that's the normal time, normal lag time that we usually see. And we're just starting to see an uptake, uptake, uptick. uptick, excuse me, in the days to turn for retail inventory. That means that vehicles are sitting longer on dealers' lots. This is an indication that, hey, your asking price is a little too high, doesn't match what the consumer's demand is. This is a gr another great sign for car buyers that are waiting on the sidelines. Obviously, the negative here is that your financing to get that used car, if you're going to finance it, is likely going to go up the longer you wait because of interest rates. But your, your ability to negotiate a car deal and the price of that used car should continue to steadily go down here over the next few weeks or months because of the pressures that we're seeing in the market. We would think, and I believe the Fed is scheduled to meet tomorrow, and everybody's anticipating um, probably a 75 basis point increase in the federal uh, rates. So that eventually will translate itself into higher floor plan costs for the dealers. So another reason why they're not going to want their inventory to sit. And I realize 
Their floor planning costs are cheaper today. They they represent less expenditure today than they have in, you know, years and years and years. But they're starting to creep up. And a good dealer is watching that every week. And and a good dealer knows that that, that check they're going to have to write to their floor plan institution is, is going to get bigger and bigger. So there is pressure to sell these cars uh, more quickly. And... So I think because of everything that's transpiring, we should hopefully see retail prices dropping slightly. Thanks, Pops, as always. Appreciate it. Thank you, honey.